Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Got a little bit of bartering going on today on the farm. So we got to catch a few goats. We're overwhelmed with goats and my neighbor is overwhelmed with weeds. And just so happens, he's an auto mechanic. We've got a few little mechanical issues with one of our trucks, as you've seen in a previous video. And we also have mechanical issues with the old Bronco. We don't have any brakes on the Bronco. So I said, hey dude, how about we make a little trade? So we're gonna grab up some goats, take them up there to his place. I'll show you the area that he has that the goats are gonna be cleaning up. It's just a really brushy area and it's gonna save him a ton of work. So come along today, we'll have a little bit of fun, do a little bit of bartering with the neighbor. All right? Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. All right guys, we backed up to the old tobacco barn here and this is kind of our storage for a lot of things. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna get a cage. And basically all we need is like a dog crate, a medium sized dog crate to put these goats in. They're gonna be interesting to catch. It might be really simple, but I got my buddy here. He lives in the city. So we're gonna do a little goat roundup with a city boy. Should be pretty fun. Let's go in here to the tobacco barn. Right there is a fancy, fancy door chalk. And here is our little cage here. So what you can't see on the videos, on the vlog, is that these goats are pretty darn small. A full grown one's probably 35 pounds, maybe 40 pounds. And the smaller ones that we're gonna load up here are probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 pounds. Little squirmy little dudes too. <laughs> So the youngest of the baby goats are still on the mom's teat. They are not quite weaned yet, but the medium size, the ones that are born probably two months ago, we'll probably round up a few of those. And then we've got a few larger goats we'll give them. He doesn't know it. We're supposed to get four goats. So we're gonna give him five goats. Give him a little tip for uh, helping get that Bronco up and running so we can use it on the farm. Should be awesome. The first step in this process is gonna be turning the electricity off of this poultry netting right here. And we've got a little solar setup right here. I'll show you. This is our little solar setup. And all you do is reach in here and flick the switch off. Pretty simple. This thing works like a charm. That's the Zariba brand fence controller right there and that's the five mile fence controller so it puts out plenty of juice for this little section right here so we're sitting here scratching our heads because one of the goats that we're going to get rid of is too big for the cage but i want to get rid of him he'll be a good goat for those guys for clearing brush he's a big taller goat and they need their brush cleared off and some of it is way up high and he would be able to get up there to it so we want to do our neighbors right but it's going to be tough to get that thing in the cage i don't know i think we're going to need a bigger cage mate Let's go down to the tobacco barn and see if we can find a bigger cage. So we've got a scoop of food here. We're going to go over in and the goats know it's feeding time. Oh, and Josh knows he's too fat ah, to get over the fence. Ugh. All right, so the most tame goats will come to us first, but some of them aren't so tame. This is Pepper. Pepper is really tame. Right, Pepper? <laughs> he's a fainter. All right, the goat number one. <laughs> so these are fainting goats and it's <laughs> so easy to catch. It's okay, little buddy. Oh, no. Alright, so the trick is here guys, we've got to spread a little bit of goat feed out and entice them in here. And they're, they're going to be hard to catch. But if we can get all the goats comfortable, then we'll be okay. And this is the guy right here that we're trying to catch. Okay. This is my ultimate goal. That was a good chance right there. There he is. Hey, Pepper. He's a smart one. All right, this is another one. I think we're gonna have to come back. <laughs> we're gonna have to come back and get the big one later. So we'll put him in the cage. Three goats in the cage. <sighs> Catching goats is a pain in the butt. We still got one more to catch. I don't think I'm giving up yet. I think I'm gonna get him.
You're not going to catch a goat that doesn't want to be caught. <laughs> All right, we're taking three of them and we're gonna come back later because this isn't gonna work. They're gonna have to be thirsty in order for me to catch them. So we'll have to dump the water out and let them get good and thirsty this afternoon. And we'll pour some water in there and come back and get the big goat. That's him right there. So we shall see. <laughs> There's a fine art to catching a goat. <laughs> uh, I hate to have to come back this afternoon, but we poured their water out and this is their water trough right here. We poured their water trough out. So probably by mid afternoon, it's only about, it's going to get to about 68 degrees today. So they won't be really hot, but by mid afternoon, they'll all be dying of thirst and I'll pour the water over in there. They'll stick their heads in and I'll nab him by the horn. These guys are cute as a button. Let me get you a shot of these cute little three goats that we did catch. You guys are cute as a button, aren't you? Little cuties. So when you catch a goat like this, guys, what you need to know is that a uh, goat has oily skin. Would you say oily skin, Ricky? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so a goat has kind of oily skin. Um, so when you catch them and you're used to living in the city and pretty much the only thing you have to touch is a freaking pencil or a steering wheel and you get a hold of a greasy goat, it's kind of gross, isn't it? Yeah, not that bad. <laughs> I think it's gross. I had a big handful of goat balls just now. <laughs> Still licking his fingers. <laughs> so what the neighbor's property looks like is this. See how grown up and brushy it is? This is called privet. I think it's called privet bushes. And these bushes will take over an area if you don't keep it mowed. Now our pasture land, which is right behind me here, was covered in this privet. So this right here is what this pasture used to look like this pasture used to look exactly like this before we hired a bulldozer and excavator to come in here clean it up and we seeded all the grass seed down so never in a million years would I have thought that I'd spent five thousand dollars in the last three years just on grass seed not fertilizer not anything like that about ten thousand in fertilizer and lime but close to five thousand dollars in grass seed just to start these pastures to get them established so a lot of people ask me what are you doing on your farm what are you growing on your farm and I say grass and they're like ha 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 it's a huge huge undertaking to get this going it's a huge undertaking to take something like this all grown up and turn it into a beautiful pasture like this and what you're seeing here is hay that we rolled out that's where the logging company came in and out and basically we tilled up that dirt and we put hay on it to put some biomass back in the soil and we'll overseed that and it'll sprout up and it'll do very well. So we're pulling up to the neighbor's uh, goat pen that they've got built, and this is an old pen that was built probably, I don't know, 40 years ago, something like that. These guys have a beautiful place. They bought a six acre plot of land that used to be attached to mine. We're gonna pull up here. These guys have huge, huge projects going on, huge projects. And you know, they're, they're doing it right. They're trying to live clean, trying to live organically. So let's go up here. I'm pull up here and show you the goat pen. So the thought process is to get the goats established right here and let them know that this is home and then they can get back in here and eat and eat all this mess up. What they'll do is tether them and let them run either on a zip line or a tether line right through here and they'll move the tether line as time goes on and the goats will just chow down all this stuff. So believe it or not, there's a barn back there. There's a lot of stuff hidden by this privet weed and here is some of it right here and that's what's going to be in the goat pen. So this is the goat pen and it used to be totally full of that privet weed. Guys, you excited about your goats? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll let you go ahead and uh, get them out and we'll, we'll put them in this little cage area here and you guys have set up. We talked about goats a while back, about getting goats. But uh, I think this is the best way, the good, good old barter system. So guys, he's a mechanic and we've got mechanical problems with our Bronco and our old truck. And he's going to take care of that for us and we'll take care of him with some goats. I'll let you reach in and grab one. Um, they'll try to all try to run. They're smart oh, yeah. little dudes. I know. One goat to his new home. If the fence stays up, it'll be good. There you go. Watch, he'll start eating in like five seconds. <laughs> Guys, this is the first time these goats have been away from their mother, so they're going to be a little bit nervous for a couple days. So goats being a herding type animal, they're much more comfortable when there's more than one goat. So when you take one goat out from a whole bunch of goats, 
they get very anxious. So it's good that there's a few goats all together. What do you think about the goats? Are you excited? <laughs> he said, I'm shy. So we're not ready to give up yet. We've got to catch two more goats and just get this chore done. So I'm going to let Ricky run the camera and I'm going to run around in here and see if I can snap up some more goats. <laughs> here goes. Oh, Lord. Goaties. Oh, this fence is super rad. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Get off me foot. anymore I just need my hands all right guys so my idea here is to make a tight corner and we'll run him into this tight corner like corral him in and snag him that's my plan <laughs> uh, need a stick tripod goat herding tool why don't you come in here so you can be a part of my herding operation? There he is. <laughs> got him, got him. You're gonna have to set the camera down. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna work here. Dude, this is tough. <laughs> we're gonna have to set the camera down. Oh, teamwork. We're gonna have to deploy teamwork tactics. This goat's slick, buddy. Whew. I wanna get this. I wanna get it on film for you. Horn, horn. Oh, oh. All it took was about two minutes of ingenuity and a partner with his arms out and we got this young, uh, he's not a billy, he's a, I think you call it a gilding, but we got it. <laughs> he ain't happy. <laughs> so we'll put him in the little transport cage now. He'll get a lot more attention up there from that little boy. Oh, so we still got one to catch. One more. I'm going to give him five goats. Oh, we got our final goat. He's so cute. Or she's so cute. We wanted to give him at least one, one female. And this one's a little fainter, a little fainting goat. It's okay, little buddy. This goat has bad breath. Goatitosis. Uh, let's put him in the cage. It's okay, little friend. Hey. Mission accomplished. Goat mission accomplished, guys. Thank goodness. Taking these babies away from their mama is going to upset them for a little bit, so I'm prepared to hear the goats go bye for probably several hours. We're going to take these guys up to the neighbor's house. Thanks a lot for joining us on the Stony Ridge Farm. Just want to show you one of the many tiny struggles that you have to go through when you have a farm. So this is really cool. We'll be able to get the Bronco up and running and driving. We can get some tags for it, drive it on the road. Kind of funny how the goats relate to the cars, relate to the trucks. Everything is symbiotic here on the farm guys thanks a lot for joining me here got my friend ricky out here to help me out he's a pro goat herder now we'll see you next time on the stony ridge farm okay we'll Woo! come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we're living life pure and sweet that's the way it's supposed to be stony ridge Woo! <laughs> start it over take three yeah that's a wrap